What's up everybody and welcome to a quick little extra video I thought I'd chuck in. Um, up on Pottermore, in case you didn't know, you can now find out what your Patronus is. Um, short little story by JK's up on here if you want to read it. It's great. Um, there's a bunch of them on here. So you got Inspecto Patronum, Stag, written by JK Rowling, Scrubby or Patronus. Let us begin. You can only discover your Patronus once the questions are timed. Go with your instincts. Oh, sir, I will go with nothing but my instincts today. <sighs> dream, discover, dance. Dream. S sweet, salt. Uh, sweet. I think, feel, sense. Think. Because we're smart people here. We, it was, I saw a claw. It might have been a fan. Keep going. No, what? Lost, found, uh, lost. Like me. Um, you're so close, keep going. Let's click on that. Can we click on that? Watch, listen, touch, uh, watch. We're a fan of video games, movies, and stuff here. Your Patronus is a chow dog. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking. You know what? No one should be. No one should be sad. We we may not have got what the world deems to be a cool Patronus. We may not have got what society deems as one of the ooh cooler Patronuses. Expecto Patronum. I've got a fucking. I've got a. I've got a. I've got a. I've got a freaking. Cool Patronus. You know what, man? We got a chow. If any of the chow dogs out there, we can start a group. We can start a Facebook club. We can. Uh, we can start a Reddit. We can start. Um, we can start a fan club. We can. Fan a, we can start a hashtag on Twitter. We can do whatever we need to do to make chow dogs be one of the greatest uh, Patronuses out there. And we should all just stick together. And don't forget, if um, some evil guy with a stag Patronus or something is chasing after you, Expecto Patronum. Wait! We're back because I'm, I've missed one. I've missed one of these damn Pottermore things. I don't know when that must have came out. Um, don't know how I missed that. Anyway, let's just cover my details here. My Patronus, as we've seen, is a chow dog. I am in Gryffindor. Um, the Ivermore house I'm in is the Horned Serpent. I never knew about this one though, so let's also discover my freaking wand. Um, we won't read this. We we won't read. The, I won't read the story now. We'll just jump in. Here. So, should we find the perfect wand for you? It is very important that you answer the following questions honestly. First of all, would you describe yourself as average height, short, tall? I'm. What do, what do we do? Uh, average height, right? Average height. And your eyes are. What are the options? So you got brown, dark brown, brown, hazel, blue, blue gray, blue green? Blue green? I feel like I'm gonna go over this. Blue green, I think, is the right name. Was the day on which you were born an even number? No, it wasn't. I was born on the 17th. Do you pride myself, yourself on your kindness? Not particularly. Optimism, not particularly. Determination, not particularly. Resilience, not particularly. Imagination. Intelligence. I'm the smartest motherfucker in every fucking room I enter. Originality. Let's go with... Oh shit, it's not easy, is it? Um, resilience could be to, uh, to... As I drag myself through this life. Very resilient. Determination. I'm determined... To never give in to the to the to the to the real world and its horrors. Um, optimism. Um, not much to be had really. Kindness. I, I wouldn't say I'm a nasty man, but at the same time, I feel like to if you describe if you're going to describe yourself as being a kind person, you that ha that's above you. Like you're like the, here's the line, bad man really kind person 
majority of us fall in the middle and I'd feel like I'd fall in the middle with most and uh, so originality I mean look at my YouTube channel is there anything greatly original on any of this shit not particularly so we, can, we can't be that we we can't be original I'm not freaking inventing the wheel over here intelligence I can barely use my mouth to speak half the time let's go up imagination I feel like I have a vivid, sometimes very vivid imagination. I'm going to say a vivid. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea? I hate the sea. Ahead towards the forest or right towards the castle? Forest. I'm going to say castle. I'm going to head right for that castle because... Do we have a picture? Where's the castle in this? We're going with the castle. Do you fear most... Fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces, heights. Let's go through this again because none of them particularly grab me. Fire. Am I afraid of fire? I mean, I wouldn't, I'm not, I'm not afraid of the naked flame, but you know, like, um, I wouldn't want to be like burnt to death, I suppose. Darkness, um, no, I've never really had a fear. Isolation, uh, I, I quite... I like. I quite like being alone. Actually, I have nothing against being alone. I can spend a lot of time alone. Um, I do. I spend enough time alone. It's fine. I have no problem being alone. Small spaces. I don't know. That's a. I. I don't. I don't think so. Heights. I don't have a great fear of heights either. I'm gonna say. Now I'm gonna go deep metaphor to pick one, and we're gonna say we're gonna lock in at. Darkness, because I'm not, I'm not particularly fond of the idea of going blind. In the chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Ornate mirror, a dusty bottle, a golden key, a silver dagger, a bound scroll, a glittering jewel, or a black glove. Okay, so we gotta go with the, the mirror. I don't, I don't give a shit. A one a randy, a, a bottle with nothing in it. Golden key could be for anything. Silver dagger, it's not very exciting. Bound scroll is what I'm going to sit on for it. Jewel, whatever, black... Okay, I'm locking in on the scroll because who... That could... This is like the lucky dip to... You know when you go... Like, I don't know if anyone else... Maybe this is this Australian thing. That lucky dip, you know, $2, what's in the bag? Could be $20 worth of goods for $2. Lots of the best treats, the best stuff, or $2... 50 cents worth of junk, okay? So, brown scroll could lead to anything. It could be the best, it could be interesting, it could be anything. Here's my one, ladies and gentlemen. It is a hazelwood with a phoenix feather core. It's by 10 by 3, 4 inches. And slightly springy flexibility. I love it. I love everything about my wand. It looks great. Look at this. Look at this. I can Photoshop this later, I think, maybe. Um, if we go back to my profile, we can once again cover everything about Dylan in the wizarding world. Um, I am a chow dog Patronus user. I am a member of House Gryffindor. I am a member of the Horned Serpent in the Ivanry House. And my wand is Hazelwood with a Phoenix Feather Core, 10 to 3 quarter inches. Thanks! Fantastic! That's, 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 that's all there is. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video that I thought was going to be really short until I've discovered that I hadn't picked my damn wand yet. Um, don't, you can pop down below and tell me what your Patronus is. And if you want to start a Chow Dog Club to beat up all the Patronus users, we can do that. We can all start a club together. It'll be great. Um, don't forget to give the video a like. And if you Wingardium Leviosi, your fucking finger onto the like button. And the subs Wingardium Levy fucking subscribe.